Would you like to take your cloud computing career to the next level? Here are five cloud computing career hacks that you probably didn't know about. Welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider YouTube channel. My name is Dave Linthic. I'm your host, author, speaker, b geek, and here to tell you about the truth of cloud computing and generative AI. So one of the most common requests that I get uh, when people do reach out to me is they're looking for a career advice. And uh, we've done a few videos here on uh, how to manage your cloud computing career. And I decided to put together a collection of five innovative ways or hacks, so to speak, in, in methods and approaches that you can use to uh, increase and accelerate your success in the cloud computing field. Now, this is made for everybody. If you've been in the cloud computing field for 30 days or you know 10 years, uh, it really doesn't matter. These things work at any stage in your career. In fact, if you're thinking about getting into cloud computing, keep these in mind because you're going to find out that these become useful tips to hit the accelerator on your cloud computing success including success as a consultant, working within a uh, industry company, uh, working within a government organization, or wherever you end up practicing cloud computing. So the first would be continuous learning through micro certifications or nano degrees. And these are the small classes that you take from LinkedIn Learning, from Pluralsight, from Go Cloud Careers, where you get some sort of a certification at the end. It can be uh, you know, training that's specific to a cloud provider like AWS you know, security certification training or Microsoft certification training. It really doesn't matter, but your ability to kind of go through a very short program, a very short course, and get to a point where you're given some certificate for uh, completing the course. And most of them do provide certificates. People catch me all on, online all the time when they take one of my LinkedIn classes and they get to a successful completion of the class, they get a certification, and they do a post out, and uh, you normally tag me in, and you can see that they pass the class. So you gotta remember, there's a couple of things here, is that if you're working for a good employer, they're gonna pay for these. So most of them cost money, some of them are free, some of them require a minimal amount of money. Some of them are long form classes, like my, uh, my generative AI architect course at Go Cloud Careers, check that out or their short-term training, or my hour-long, two-hour-long courses, you know, out on LinkedIn Learning. And the idea is that not only are you completing your training, in other words, you're continuously learning additional things about uh, uh, cloud computing, which, you know, is obvious. I think that unto itself is obvious. But we're taking it to another step. In other words, we're using social media as a way to post uh, the fact that you passed the training, you got the certifications, and you make sure to tag certain people uh, into those posts, such as your leadership, uh, your peers, other people within the organization. Make sure you name your company, make sure people you're working for, people you're working with. So everybody sees the fact that not only are you completing this training, which is to your benefit, but they know you've completed the training and they understand that you're progressing your career, you're interested in being a continuous learner. And that comes back to you in many benefits. They're looking to promote somebody, they're looking to uh, extend your capabilities. They'll see, for example, if you're looking to move in from uh, cloud administration into generative AI administration, uh, they can see that you've taken some generative AI classes. Uh, and so you'll find you're in a better position to be promoted within the organization if everybody understands that you've completed some tactical training, some nano, nano degrees, some micro certifications out there. So take advantage of those, and especially if your employer is paying for them. So the second hack would be develop a niche uh, expertise, niche, uh, such specialized domain focused areas like cloud security, cloud native application deployment, you know, multi-cloud management, uh, security uh, around AI systems is a hot topic now, things like that. And the idea is that if you have a particular expertise or basically a focus on a niche-based technology, certainly something that's going to take your career to the next level, you're going to be more likely to get those jobs and get those promotions to work on those things. For example, multi-cloud, uh, your ability to understand how multi-cloud works and become a multi-cloud architect and your ability to uh, understand how integration occurs between different cloud providers and security spans cloud providers and what a super cloud is and all these sorts of things 
are really going to be a core benefit to you taking your career to the next level because you have this specialized expertise that makes you special. Also, it makes you unique. And normally unique people are the ones who get the promotions or the ones who get the jobs and the ones that get the raises and the ones that have a tendency to make more money. So find some sort of specialty, something that is going to provide an enhanced career growth. Focus on that. Make sure everybody understands that you have that expertise. You have that desire to function in this particular niche. So the next cloud career hack would be to write technical blogs, create podcasts, create a YouTube channel like I'm doing here, uh, and really get into the fact that not only are you understanding what cloud computing technology is and does, but you're able to pontificate around the use of this technology and do so any any way that you want to do it. Some people like the written word, and certainly you can have a blog on Substack or other uh, other blog hosting environments. Uh, you can write an article on LinkedIn. Uh, you can write an article on Twitter. Uh, any number of ways to do that. You can also create a podcast if you like the audio format and just do a five-minute podcast every week. Even if it's only listened to by a couple of hundred people, it still goes to show that you have such an interest in the cloud computing field that you're able to put in additional work and to lead thought in the industry and give back to the industry. Or a YouTube channel. There's lots of people out there who are cloud engineers and cloud architects and uh, they just entered the cloud profession and now they have YouTube channels and they're going like gangbusters. Um, and I, I think that's awesome. Uh, so use thought leadership as a way to promote yourself and promote your brand and using a number of mechanisms, including podcasts, YouTube, you know, ways in which you can do it. So LinkedIn, Substack, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, you know, make sure you tag your companies and tag your leaders as you po uh, as you post these things, very much like we did with our uh, with our micro certifications. And uh, just keep in mind, this can't be one and done. You don't put one podcast out or one YouTube video out or one blog out. This has to be a commitment over a long period of time, typically at least a year, where you're putting something out each and every week on a new topic and a uh, a new interesting take on it. Uh, have try to have things that are that are unique to say. That's your opinion. Uh, I think that's going to make things interesting. So whether you want to use the written word, whether you want to use audio, whether you want to use video, that's an opportunity for you to hack your career and accelerate your career. So cloud career hack number four would be to teach and mentor. In other words, give back. And I understand some of you may be. Uh, early in your cloud computing career, you don't feel like you have the uh, uh, experience to mentor other individuals. And I think that's perfectly fine. And and uh, so this is not going to be for everybody out there. But your ability to work with others in the cloud computing profession, your ability to do things like you know teach at the community college, your ability to volunteer to do uh, small classes within community centers, things like that is going to pay dividends because, again, it shows that you have a stronger interest in the cloud computing profession than the majority of cloud computing professionals out there if you're willing to teach. So find some way in which you can give back, even if that's uh, coaching somebody, uh, you know, teaching a very short class. Or if you want to do a YouTube video, you know, put a micro course out there, something five minutes or less. This could be your YouTube uh, presence as well, or your your podcast presence as well, where you're teaching. In other words, where you're giving back to the community in knowledge and your own expertise. And if you're ready to do so, that's going to be a strong thing for you to do to take your career to the next level. And the last cloud career hack is uh, is something that's very tactical. Uh, build a strong GitHub profile. So GitHub out there is going to be a repository of things that you do and projects that you do. And so put a public repository out there. Anybody can do one. Maintain a well-documented and active GitHub profile showcasing your cloud projects and contributions. It doesn't necessarily need to be code per se, but work that you're doing, uh, presentations you've done, uh, your ability to kind of showcase you and also your ability to keep track of what you've been working on. You'll find that, you know, as you get, you know, into your career uh, several years, you'll you'll forget about things you did uh, in the early, early part of your career. And obviously we have resumes and things like that, CVs that we build over time and certainly LinkedIn profiles. But your ability to put down the artifacts and put down things in the repository, projects you actually worked on, things that you actually contributed to uh, is going to mean that 
you have a stronger interest in your career than 99% of the other cloud computing professionals out there. And people are going to see that. Again, people you work with, your leadership, your peers, uh, they should know the fact that you have a GitHub profile out there. I wouldn't be too obvious about it, but uh, they're going to view that as a uh, strong indication of the fact that you're willing to go the extra mile and you're going to find you're going to get the promotions, you're going to get the raises, you're going to get the good jobs. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Um, give these hacks a try. I think they're proven. Uh, I've seen lots of people use these things to take their careers to the next level. Also, don't forget about my uh, course on generative AI architecture out on Go Cloud Careers. That's going like gangbusters, doing four hours a week uh, in personalized training uh, with the students there. So join us there. I'd love to see you there. Also, don't forget about my classes out on LinkedIn Learning. And don't forget about my uh, you, uh, uh, InfoWorld blog. Uh, don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And keep coming back here for more videos. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, comment below. It helps the channel out, keeps me going. I'm interested in what you have to say. Love to get your feedback. So until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.